Okay guys, it is, let's see, 1.57 p.m. on Monday, February 10th, 2020. Uh, if you hear some odd noises, I got my cat behind me for some reason. She decided to jump up here behind me. And I did my foundation and concealer already. And for concealer, I used my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer um, in the color CW02, which is fair. And I have CW03, which is just plain light. And uh, here we go. This is the foundation I used. This is in the color light because um, it's the only one that kind of looked more close to my skin tone. Uh, they had a couple of other choices as well. The NYX Born to Glow foundation, naturally radiant foundation. Um, I already did my foundation and it took me about 10 minutes to blend everything out and I almost got some in my hair that I just washed. Sorry. Um, but this is in the shade light and we got a bunch more products here. I'm like, I got a bunch of products this week. Okay, now, you all know I love Sephora. So we went shopping at Sephora yesterday. Me and my sister did. Four items costed $80 in there, but I've gathered all of my new items I got, including my new Clinique foundation that I got from uh, Macy's. I don't know what this is exactly, but my mom gave it to me yesterday and said it's like the third part of my uh, Clinique face wash kit. And she's got a huge bottle of it. I'm talking about 20 fluid ounces. It's a pump bottle or something like that. I don't know. Um, let's see. I did get some MAC powders last night, but this is my old one, I believe. This is the old one. Yeah, it is. This one I've had since about high school. It might have been ninth or 10th grade when I bought that. I'm trying to find the other ones I got because I got one uh, also by Mac that was given to me. And I think I bought this one a while back by Sephora. This was featured in a couple of my videos a while back. Um, hold on. I've had this thing for about a year now and look how much it's been used. Not very much at all. It's just now starting to get a small area where you can see the pan. This is a dirty pad. I don't even use those pads, so I'm just taking that out. And this one by MAC, the Studio Fix. My sister gave this one to me. She said this one's only been used one time, and she's had it for almost a year now. And I'm like, well, I don't use a lot of powder, but I will give it a try. And we are almost exactly the same shade. I'm not really a big fan of powder because it makes my face feel too cakey. And uh, that's just not how I like my makeup to look and feel. <clears throat> I got a bunch of things yesterday and the day before. And yeah, definitely yesterday was like the worst day or the most I got in one day. Um, I finally got this. I'm going to get my... I got my hands on this to try. It is the Benefit Cosmetics or Benefit, sorry, Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Uh, I got the mini, but this actually does not look like the size of a mini. I also got the Fenty Beauty um, Mascara in the color because I'm black. Uh, this is the only one they have out right now, I believe. I've, I'm not sure. It's called Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. I can't wait to try these both. I wish I could do both, but I'm one of those people that puts both products on the same, or on both eyes. One product on both eyes, I mean. Uh, I already have some of this. I have, like, two brand new tubes of it, almost. This is, like, a little hand lotion my mom gave me. It didn't cost that much money, a dollar thirty-nine. So I'm gonna just put this in my purse actually, because I got one in there, and that's what it's really handy for. And I don't even know where she got it from, but I do like the smell of that lotion. It smells like Christmas time, like cinnamon cookies around the house and Christmas. Oh my gosh, it brought me back to my childhood that I desperately miss. Oh. That's just my old eyeliner I accidentally gave my mom. She gave it back to me because she didn't like the color of it. And I'm like, how could you not like it? It's like a pretty silverish black. 
trying to pull out everything here that I'm going to use in this video. And I think that's it for the eyes. I actually didn't get a lot of eye products. Okay. I guess we're starting now. I'm sorry for this really long intro. Oh yeah, I know where the other one was at. I shoved it in here in my Clinique bag. I traded my mom my Clinique eyeshadow palette for a different colored one that I had, <clears throat> or that she had that I wanted, that I actually used. Sorry if you see my cat behind me, she's a little freak. She's sweet as can be, but she's a little freak at times. But they say that the animal is just like their owner, so I'm a little bit of a freak at times, too. Um, now we're going to open my favorite brushes for my eyes. Harry Potter is actually one of my favorite movie collections of all time. It's one of the most watched ones I have. I got these three brushes out to use for my eyeshadows, except for this one. This one's actually a liquid, so I don't know why I even grabbed the lid brush, so I'll just put that one back. Um, right now for like the lid on my eye, like right here, whatever you call this area, I'm gonna be using this Ace Beauty eyeshadow in the color Cotton Candy. I already have two like this, but this one looks like it's been used heavily, so I'm going to uh, just use this one as well. Trying to make sure I got plenty on my eyes where it's visible, but not super visible. I can't see very well on this eye. Of course, if uh, you made it this far, you probably already know that by now. I have uh, vision problems in both my eyes. And I have had them since I was a little girl. Like, a little, little girl. Uh, now next I'll be using this Sephora eyeshadow that I bought yesterday in the color... Pilates glitter, or I'm sorry, girl talk. What did I just say? I'm sorry, I meant to say girl talk. I read the little thing where it says palette or something. This will be for my crease. Okay, let's see here. I'm actually starving, so I'm getting a migraine. I'm sorry about that. Let's see here. Let's see if that looks good. I can't see very well, like I said. Oh, that's more neutral than I wanted it to be, but that's still pretty. Like, this would make a perfect topper for something. I thought that would be, like, nice and pigmented. Okay, now... I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow, but just to be safe in case I need to move it around, I am going to keep out my uh, brush kit. This is not my first time opening it, but it is going to be my first time opening it and using it. I know it looks kind of used, but that's from where it was sitting sideways in the box, or the bag. I almost said box, sorry. I do like the fact that it has a wand on it. Let me try to do this in the mirror, because if I do this in the phone with my vision messed up, it's probably going to turn out to look terrible. I'm sorry, I'm really tired today. Now this might not be like ideal for everyday wear, but today I just am trying all my new products so it doesn't really hurt to try them. See, I actually forgot it had a wand on there. I thought it was like one of those little brush things that is like a little lip gloss, lip gloss brush or whatever you call it. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I should try my brush with this. 
No, I don't need to. You try to put this up. Now this uh, wand is kind of bending a little, so I got a feeling I might end up having to exchange this for one that has not been uh, bending. But of course I think it's normal for it to bend down here because uh, this area is not bending so much. Let's see here. Now, what I'm gonna do is if I can find it, okay. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty eyeliner because this is like the first time I'm ever actually wearing it on my skin. And we all know I'm gonna be awake a while, so it'll technically be a full day's worth of wearing. My mom doesn't like the felt tip uh, liquid liners and I'm like, I've actually used to hate them myself, but I actually uh, have gotten used to using them. Sorry, I was trying to be careful opening it to where the, they've like come naturally to me. And this one, I heard a lot of uh, mixed reviews about it. Sorry, I know I got some in my eye. That'll come out naturally. See, this one was not so hard to uh, put on. But it probably will be harder to get it back off. Sorry, kitty cat. I'm trying to reach up here for a, a um, Q-tip. <laughs> Got one, finally. Let's see here. It's a little trick of the trade. Sometimes the Q-tip will work, sometimes it won't. But I think this is a fast drying liner, so that's probably why it's not working so well. It's got a little bit off though, so I can't speak like saying it's super bad. Now this is the eye I had the worst uh, problems with vision in, but I have tried to practice and uh, learn how to do my makeup with it. Because I think to myself, one day this could be my only working eye, my remaining working eye. And then I thought, what would I do if I went blind in my other eye and I still wanted to do my makeup? I would probably be wearing a patch over this eye, but I would still be, you know, wearing makeup too, but not under the patch. Okay, now, I gotta be careful with this one because this one has a very nice, very nice fine tip, I think. And, uh, there we go. I love the packaging on this, by the way. So, Rihanna, Venti, you guys have never really disappointed me with your packaging or your makeup. I just wish I could afford more of it. And I wish I didn't love all the brands out there that I do love because I would buy only Fenty. My sister is switching all the way over to Clinique, and I like Clinique and everything, but I actually really want to get some more Fenty products as well. My mom says, you have too much makeup, and then I fired back, well, you have too much purses. Too many purses. Sorry. Um. Where the hell's my phone? Somebody's calling me or texting me. Sorry for the language. There it is. No wonder I can't see it. It's a red phone in a pink case on the on a pinkish red couch. Uh, nope, nobody calling. It's just my phone being stubborn because everybody's doing YouTube videos at the same time, it seems like. Now, I'm still trying to debate here which one of these I want to wear because I really want to try them both. But I'm not one of those people that's going to do one side with the other and, you know, the same thing on the other side. I'm just not. It's not who I am. So I think Fenty will be the winner for today because I have been dying to try this mascara since it came out. Where is my makeup wipes? Because I'm always gonna do that thing that I do with my makeup wipes. It may cause me to lose them, to lose them more. I need to buy them more, but that's fine because they're only like $1.
Where did they go? Don't start taking me. Okay, there we go. Taking me off, I meant to say. But yeah, my mom thinks that there is a point of having too much makeup, and I believe that there is a point of having too much of purses. I mean, I've never really been much of a purse person myself. I only have, like, a select few that I like. Like, I'm very picky about the ones I carry. So we're going to try this. Let me do this in my uh, mirror so it doesn't turn out terrible. I'm sure you guys know how to apply mascara. If you're not, if you don't, then you don't, then don't be here because I don't know how to teach you. Probably should have combed out my lashes first, but we're going to try it today and see if it separates the lashes for me. So far, it's doing a good job. You gotta be very careful, because they, like every other mascara in the world, will poke your eyes and hurt, or possibly take out your eye. Okay, now you see, that would have probably did better if I did put my, or comb my lashes out. But we're just going to try it in the phone on this side. I'm sorry, I'm just afraid of poking my eye out. I know I'm missing a little eyeliner right there in the corner of my eye. Maybe it didn't dry all the way before I did that. Let me try to do this. I guess I need to get a designated filming spot, but I'm actually afraid to right now because we are actually really talking about moving and we've been talking about it for a while now Okay, I think we're done with this, and tomorrow we'll be going after the Benefit one, because Benefit's mascara has never really have disappointed me. Now, the Roller Lash Mascara, I was not too fond of at first, but um, after using it two or three times, I actually kind of started to like it. So sometimes you just have to give the mascara a chance. It may not disappoint you. I know it sounds like I'm talking like about a person... Um, but you know, it's so, sort of the same principles. Like, I didn't think I would like Clinique's face wash, and I've been using that for about two weeks now, or a week now. I already ran out of the mini. I wash my face uh, twice a day normally. Um, so my mini's already empty. That stuff is a lifesaver for me, because uh, it also helped to reduce the amount of foundation I use. But it's going to be hard not to use a lot of it on my face because I have a gigantic face. I have a giant forehead. I'm sorry about that. That's hair on my forehead, by the way. It's just being a joke today. But, uh, it just, I actually am in the habit of pumping out, like, a lot of the product. Maybe that's why it's not a good idea for me to have pump foundations because, uh, I run out too much. I actually do run out of my pump foundations a lot, so. Let's see here. Mirror, where are you? Here you go. Okay, so there's no foundation missing from my lips. There's just a little bit creasing right there. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do for blush because I don't think I bought a new blush yesterday. I could be wrong. No, actually I did. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Yeah not in here either this is new this is full of new makeup but it's uh not the blush I was going to use this is my Clinique bag the blush I'm going to use today is actually in my Sephora bag I believe yep I see it right here love child I used to have this one it used to be my all-time favorite one to use and then I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it got stolen or if it was left at home when the fire occurred. It might have been because that sounds more logical because 
not very many people steal off of us. Because we usually notice immediately, like before they even leave the house, if a product is missing. Like, uh, I'm just going to say this much. We've had about five iPads go missing from our house. I'm not going to say who did it because we don't even know who did it. Because there was too many people here all at one time, you know. And, uh, they, were had, they had just been bought. And, um, we were not happy because we went without iPads for like three years. And that drove us crazy because a lot of us did our schoolwork online with the iPad. I know I did. Because buying a computer is more expensive than buying an iPad now, and that's saying a lot. Because iPads are pretty expensive. At least where I live, anyways. <sighs> Sorry. Kind of got some of a runny nose today. Okay, now I think that's a good amount of blush. <laughs> doesn't look too bad doesn't look too dark but you can definitely tell there's some there unlike when I usually apply blush I usually put it so light I can't even see it half the time I'm sorry I'm really hungry so if you can hear my stomach growling I'm so sorry I have to I do have to reach touch up my eye here I mean I know I wanted it to come off but now it looks the same on both sides almost and uh, I'll be getting another eyeliner when uh, my mom gets her ipsy bag because she doesn't like the eyeliners like this. And Tarte is sending her one like this. So when I looked at the one by Tarte in the store, I did not buy it because I knew she had already said she would give it to me or my sister. And my sister has plenty of eyeliner. My sister had about 10 bottles of eyeliner. So uh, she said, since I use the eyeliner, I'm not giving any eyeliner up and I said I'm fine with that because I can't handle the actual gel pen liners or the actual liquid liners I can handle gel pens like this but not like the uh sorry I'm being very paranoid about this for some reason I don't want it to get broken because it's very expensive um some people just can't deal with liquid liner like that. I'm one of those people, unfortunately. Oh crap, this makeup wipe is empty. I got some uh, eyeliner on my fingers on accident. So I'm like, let me wipe it off. That's okay, I got another box right here I'll replace it with now. I knew they were going to be empty, I just didn't know they were going to be empty today because I thought there was like three of them left yesterday. But I remembered I used one last night to remove my lip gloss because I started reacting to my lip gloss. And uh, I just wanted to hurry up and get it off without ruining my face. Right now, I'm going to be using the brand called Global Beauty Care. And if you have not seen these, then you have definitely never shopped in TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or wherever. Or even Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells these too. That's where I discovered them at. 30 wipes for one dollar you can't beat that and they are pretty much a high-end brand I'm just happy that they're available for such a cheap cheap price now I peel them open like this and uh, I'm gonna put them in my Neutrogena case here I like to do that in case I don't seal them all the way or the seal comes undone this way they stay fresh this thing somehow locks moisture inside let me put up the Fenty Mascara. Let me see here. The color is called Cousin Black. That's cool. Actually, that's kind of clever. And the color of the eyeliner is also called Cousin Black. Uh, I've always loved Rihanna. You know, it's just like so 
cool that she now is this makeup, big makeup entrepreneur, I guess you can say. She's one of my uh, favorite singers to listen to, and I'm very picky about my music from, like, today. I know I sound like an old person saying that, but some of the music I just don't really like because it just doesn't sound like something I would listen to. <clears throat> Let me try to find one of my new lip products here. I don't think I bought anything in Sephora lip-related because I got a bunch of lip products from my sister, and my sister and I, uh, we both love lip products but she didn't really uh have a whole lot to give so whatever i've got is what i'll use looks like i'm going for my little clinique red lipstick this is the one i've used i thought I I put the new one in here. You would have thought I would have. This one's called Passion Pop. And uh, it, believe it or not, does not look that bad on me. And you're about to see that. So let me just grab my mirror here and put it on the way I normally do. And I think a lot of people do it this way too. But I've always been used to doing it this way. Like, you know, coating your lips nice and good. And then outlining your lips like this. Now I gotta do the top. Sorry, I got issues with my nose again. I'm not a nasty person. I'm actually very clean. Uh, my room is kind of like cluttered right now. It's only because we're going through stuff or I'm going through stuff. And, you know, usually a room this size, one person trying to conquer the whole thing. It's just super hard to deal uh, to do alone. So... When I get time to relax, everything relaxes, I guess, and I don't mean to uh, sound gross, but it's the truth, you know. I just don't mean like I don't use the bathroom on myself. I'm not that kind of, of a lazy person. Do I like sitting around doing nothing? Yes, but a lot of people do, okay? Am I excited because we're talking about moving and we're going to go house hunting sometime next week? Yes, because I really want to get out of this house. This house does not belong to me or my family. It belongs to my aunt. So technically it does belong to a family member, just not a immediate family member. She's a very distant aunt. Let me see here. I'm just double checking everything because I accidentally, when I scratched my nose a second ago, the uh, foundation came off in my, uh, sorry, on my finger. Come on, let's do it. Okay. Now, this is the finished look. Um, slightly more blush than I'm used to wearing because uh, I don't usually wear a whole lot, like a crap ton of blush anymore. I used to. I'm sorry if I sounded dirty in this video. I did not mean to. I'm not a dirty person, you know, from my previous videos that I don't do this, like, every video. But it used to be every single video. At some point, yeah, it was. But, uh, I don't think this looks too bad, personally. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sorry about the mess behind me. If you're new, please subscribe. Also... Uh, the time is now 2.27 p.m. I don't know what time this will upload, so we'll see. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.